All right, here we are. And I'm just going to show you real quick how we shoot an HDR with the NEX 5N or the Next 5N. So I've got set here, and what I'm on manual mode, and I'm shooting at about a half second. Start with F16 ISO 100. I'm set up on a tripod, so I'm just going to get that set, and I'm going to shoot. Okay. I'm going to take my clicker wheel, and I'm on shutter speed only one, two, just count three clicks. Take another shot. That's one stop. One, two, three. That gets us another stop. One, two, three. One, two, three. And if you watch the histogram there, one, two, three, you can see I'm just moving in. Two, three. You can see as I'm gathering all the ranges. Now I usually go over a little overboard because what does it hurt? So that's it. Manual mode. You just lock as much down as you can. Just change your shutter speed until you've got a dynamic range all the way up to all the way down. Pretty easy. So you just saw how we shot an HDR one stop apart. And now we're going to look at putting those images together. I believe it was this one. So first thing to do, I selected all of them. Notice they're all highlighted here. I usually like to pick one in the middle and just have a quick look over it. One thing you'll always want to check for is chromatic aberrations. Any other lens problems you want to deal with, you can at this point. I also, oftentimes, I like to get my images just a little bit sharper. Just do a little sharpening. Make sure you've got good detail, good contrast. If you want to reduce noise, you can do that too. And I also kind of like clarity quite a bit. So now we've got these images down here. I think they're ready to go. So then we'll go up to the top. We will choose File, Export with Preset. You could use Photomatics, HDR Effects. If you want to do it in Photoshop, it's going to be right here, Merge to HDR Pro in Photoshop. But for this time, we're going to use HDR Effects Pro. So we'll click that. You'll see it starting to process up in the upper left hand corner. In just a second, we should be in HDR Effects Pro. Okay, so we're over here in HDR Effects Pro. We've got presets on the left. Generally, I like to find one that gets me somewhat close to what I like. I think on this one, we might just be maybe realistic balanced. And we'll fix our straightening out a little bit shortly later. Um, you can adjust your overall global settings over here. And I I kind of want to keep a balanced image. I'm, I usually go into Photoshop to do the final touches. Warm that up a bit. I do, however, love these control points. It's very nice. You can easily selectively adjust things. We're going for kind of more arty, artsy kind of look here. Let's make that smaller. Open up these sh shadowy areas. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And get some one here on the doors. Cause you really got quite a bit of detail, a lot of information you can use at this point. Whereas later, once you save it back out, not quite as much. Contrast up. Make that a little brighter. You can also turn on a vignette right here if you want. You can go right here, say lens 4, that might be a little bit much. Lens 2, darken those edges. And then you just click save. And you can finish this up in Photoshop. 
We'd straighten our edges out now in Lightroom on this version of the image. Let's just pop back over to Lightroom and have a look at that. Came right in here, you can see that. Go down to Lens Correction. We're just going to be doing manual this time. So we can adjust our rotation. We'll click Constrain Crop. You can adjust your verticals if you need to or want to. And then you can even crop it into whatever it is you want to make it look like. You can get some pretty dramatic images this way. I don't know if this is the best one I've ever seen in my life for sure, but uh, you get the idea of the steps needed. And generally, you only want to do an HDR if you've got a sky that's really bright and a subject that's dark or something that you just can't capture in a single image. So I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to check out our other videos and more at ReflectedPixel.com. Thanks.